Hi there. In this topic video, we're going to focus on consumer and producer surplus. Uh, these are two measures of economic welfare in markets. Consumer surplus is a measure of the welfare that people gain from consuming goods and services. And it's simply defined as the difference between the total amount a consumer is willing and able to pay for a good or service, and that's indicated by the demand curve, and the total amount they actually do pay i.e. the market price. So consumer surplus is always shown by the area underneath the demand curve and above the market price. So let's see how this works. If the market price is A, the area underneath the demand curve is area ABC, and that's the area of consumer surplus. So what happens to consumer surplus when there's a change in the market price? In our first example, we see an inward shift of the supply curve from S1 to S2, leading to an increase in price from A to D and a contraction in quantity demanded from Q1 to Q2. The original consumer surplus was the area ABC. But after the price increase, because quantity is contracted to Q2, the new area of consumer surplus is only BDE. So higher supply costs leading to increased prices for consumers will lead to a fall in consumer surplus. In our second example, we see the effect of an outward shift of the market demand curve for a product. The original quantity and price was A and Q1. After the shift in demand, the price rises to G and the quantity is Q2. Notice here that the increase in market demand does cause consumer surplus to increase. Okay, from area ABC to area GH. I. Now, consumer surplus is crucially de determined in part by the elasticity of the demand curve. In this example, when the demand is inelastic, there is a fairly high level of consumer surplus. This is because consumers are fairly insensitive to the price. And if the price was to rise significantly above A, some consumers would still be willing and able to pay it. So low price elasticity tends to mean a high level of consumer surplus. In contrast, in our diagram on the right-hand side, we show a demand curve which is much more price-sensitive. Consumers are not willing to pay as much, and if the price was to rise above A, very quickly demand would fall away. An elastic demand means a fairly low level of consumer surplus. Producer surplus. Producer surplus is the difference between two price levels. One, the price the supplier or the producer is willing and able to supply a good or service and the price they actually get in the market. So the area of producer surplus is shown by the area above the supply curve and below the current market price. If the market price is B, the supplier supplies quantity Q1 and the area of produced surplus is the triangle ABC. Again, let's shift the, some curves around and see what happens. See what happens to producer surplus. As the market price for a good or service changes, so too will producer surplus. In our first example, we see an outward shift of the supply curve, for example, caused by a fall in the price of component parts or perhaps wages. So lower supply costs cause the market price to fall and the equilibrium quantity to expand from Q1 to Q2. So the original price was price A and the producer sold Q1. After the, fall, after the increase in supply or the fall in the supply curve, the price is F and the producer is selling Q2. What happens to producer surplus? It increases from area A, D, B initially to a bigger area, area F, E, C. Lower supply costs increase producer surplus. What happens to the producer if demand increases? In our example on the right hand side, we show the effect of an outward shift of the demand curve. The equilibrium point changes from B to E. So the producer, having originally sold quantity Q1 at price A, can now sell output Q2 at price D. So what's happened to producer surplus? That has increased from area A, B, C to a bigger area, D, 
E, C. Producers gain in terms of higher producer surplus if the supply costs fall on the left hand side or if the demand curve shifts out to the right shown on the second diagram. Here's a neat way of just showing consumer and producer surplus in one diagram. Just a reminder, consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above the price. Producer surplus is the area above the supply curve and below the price. Taken together, consumer and producer surplus are measures of economic welfare from the production and the consumption of goods and services. Now, these two concepts are really worth getting to know. They're very important ideas to use when discussing, for example, the effect of interventions in markets. And we have topic videos looking at indirect taxes and subsidies, and for example, maximum and minimum prices. So if you get a chance in the exam, please do use consumer and producer surplus. And we know that changes in the conditions of supply and demand, which we've looked at in this video, will affect the overall level of consumer and producer surplus. And these are two measures of economic welfare. So this has been a topic video on consumer and producer surplus. Check out the Cheetah 2 website and our YouTube channel for more videos on year one microeconomics.